so uh, this has a very uh, loose cannon pinion meaning that you can just touch the crown a little bit and it is uh, basically moving and this is not good uh, actually because uh, a slipping cannon pinion is not good for the mechanism can result in various of type of errors so either you use a tool to tighten the cannon pinion or you replace it if you have some spare parts if you're not comfortable with uh, tightening it I have this one this is from uh, London 54 and I will replace this one because this is this is uh, way too uh, easy I just need to touch it a little bit and now when I was setting the time it was just super easy and it's not good you need to fix that actually um, in this video I will not uh, show you how you tighten it will be in a future video so I have replaced the cannon pin now and for me I can't even touch this one now this one but it uh, it actually moves quite good with this one but with more force but not too much because if it's too tight then you can damage the minute wheel or other components So, uh, this will be quite interesting. Uh, this uh, cannon pinion, it's, uh, it's good. Could be a little bit... Uh, no, it's not too hard, it feels, it feels great. Uh, and I would like to show you a little bit with my cannon pinion tightener, which I showed before, but I really didn't really know how to use it, so I had to revise the video a little bit and really... I will show you here. <clears throat> First one we will remove uh, this one, this cannon pinion. So you can use your hand lever to remove the cannon pinion. It's uh, actually like uh, like this. And then we will place uh, this one. This uh, basically I will just push it. Down until I see it's aligned. Actually, uh, on my other watch, on this chronograph, uh, this uh, cannon pinion was uh, slipping, but I can notice now in, in this one it's actually. Maybe a little bit too hard, I think. Could be a little bit too hard. No, it feels a little bit easier. But it's important that it's not too hard because then you can destroy the leaves of the minute wheel. I was going to show you really how you're using um, Bergion. 4733 in order to do this, or I mean. I have never done it before, so obviously I need some training, and, but this one is a little bit too hard on this um, this movement. Uh, this is a Lander 54, and I have, I have a Lander 51 where this kind of pinion is slipping, so... Um, yeah, but basically I guess you have to use this little fellow and just um, guess it's something like this and you just adjust the little fellow here but I will not do it in this one now but this is the cannon pinion remover which I showed you before uh, so whenever you will face this uh, this issue be advised about the cannon pinion that it's not supposed to, you're not supposed to be able to move it just like I did previous with the tweezer if it, then it's probably slipping and you need to fix that because it will give a headache when you're you will uh, experience different kind of problems um, and it won't probably be a good uh, time keep good timekeeper but uh, when it's actually in position and uh, like this, it feels uh, it feels okay. Then it's okay to to use it. 
But if you tighten this, if you tighten too much, if your uh, with your tightener, then there will be probably um, and there you will face the risk of uh, damaging the the keyless and the minute wheel and not just the other parts can be destroyed too but this is of course the, the one that is uh, risking the most and getting all the pressure so it's a little bit feeling thing it's difficult to to show you actually this is this is something you have to feel your way through and learn by time when it's okay and when it's not okay I mean for a good uh, a good way to check the if the cannon pinion is loose I mean if you just roll your finger over the crown does it move or not if it moves then you need to tighten the cannon pinion just a little bit, you don't need to add much. Uh, you have to add a little bit force. You have to have some... Uh, you have to have friction. So, yeah. That's something I wanted to show you here. <laughs>